Hi everybody, Louise here in Auckland, New Zealand and I'm about to take you for a walk to the art gallery. So most people when they look at the map see that the art gallery or the art museum is on Kitchener Street. I'm going to show you another way to get there which is walking up here which is Lawn Street and it'll take us up the Suffragette Street, um, Suffragette Steps. So it's a really really nice way to see a little bit more of Auckland and also find out a little bit about our history. So walking up Lawn Street is interesting. There's lots of cafes, restaurants, there's even a secret garden. This is the Kimchi Project. So it's about 5 p.m. on a Tuesday, so people going home from work. There's clothing shops. There's hole-in-the-wall coffees. Lots of cafes and lots of art galleries here, so you can really, really explore the area. We are one street from Queen Street, which is on my right-hand side, and one street from Kitchener Street, which is on my left-hand side. So it's just a short walk up there, but this is the most interesting way to do it. And you can do a little bit of window shopping, art galleries, as we walk. So let's keep going. It's only a couple of minutes to get there, but we'll make some stops and have a look at something, some interesting things along the way. So this is our little hole in the wall coffee shop, which is actually closed now, but there's usually quite a long line of people waiting for coffees during the day. Japanese noodle restaurant in here. And we're almost, we're almost at the suffragette steps. So when you get to this point, you can turn left and you'll see the art gallery gallery up there. So in some countries it's known as an art museum, but in New Zealand we call it the art gallery. Oh, suddenly we didn't focus. <laughs> so here we are, Tiha Te Ohini Place. Lovely tiles. It's a Korean restaurant here on this side. There's a coffee shop on this side and nice umbrellas, you can just come and sit here. But this tells the story of the suffragettes, the woman who, the first woman in the world to gain the vote. So this is Kate Shepard and she was our number one suffragette. And if you look at our $10 note, you'll see that she's on the $10 note. One of the things about the suffragettes that's interesting is they had a symbol. And the symbol was the camellia. So if you were pro the suffragettes, you were pro women voting, you wore the white one. If you were anti, you wore the red. So you were easily distinguished. So I'm going to take you up these steps and we'll end up at the art gallery. So women got the vote in 1893 and these steps were built 100 years later to commemorate the fact that in New Zealand we are supposed to be equal. <laughs> 1893. A lot of these buildings have got little art displays inside. Oh, that's good timing. So you can pop in here, you can use the space, you can enjoy some of the artworks. And they just, we can actually put, well, oh, let's go back. Let's see if it'll open again for us. There we go. So we've got the coffee shop on one side. This is the foyer of the building. That's a lovely area. You can get your coffee, you can just pop in here and you can enjoy a little bit of relaxation, a little bit of social time. So it has several names. It's the Suffragette Steps. It's also known as Khartoum Place. Let's go. I want to get to the art gallery. There they all are, standing in line. Women's Suffrage Centenary, 1893. Oh, 1993. Yes, hey, they have a determined look about them. Let's keep going up the steps. Real virtual tour. I'm doing the walking. <laughs> I'm doing the walking. Here's the white camellia here. 
Hi. <laughs> the Pahuta Kaaba tree, the Christmas tree flower of New Zealand, and one of our native birds. Now, I'm not sure, it might be a huia. Could be a huia. Um, this is usually a water feature here, but it's, this is turned off at the moment. Um, but usually there's water pouring out here. This will be something to do with COVID restrictions. Oh no, it'll be water restrictions. That's why the water's off. We're short, running short of water here. There they are, all off to vote on their bicycles. <laughs> okay. Oh, here it is, the art gallery, looking beautiful. So the sunlight's behind me, so it's just catching it really, really beautifully. This building here on the right is the old YMCA building. It's now been converted into apartments and there's a couple of art galleries in the bottom as well. Gorgeous flowers here. And they usually have some sort of Christmas tree here at Christmas time, which is coming up pretty, pretty soon. It's only a few months away. Here we are. The art gallery or art museum as it would be known in some countries. This is the original building here. One of only three French architectural styles here in Auckland. It's really gorgeous inside. Always reminds me of fairy tales. Auckland Library is just through here and so is AUT, one of the universities here in the city. The time is saying 5.23. I'm off to street choir, so I'm going to be singing. We have a little singing group that we, where we sing and support homeless people. And we do that on a Tuesday night down here at the library. And another organisation called Sunday Blessings provides everybody with a meal. There's the YMCA. So that's what I'm off to do right now, <laughs> after I've said goodbye to you all. So this is Kitchener Street and Albert Park there on the left and just coming round past the library there's a nice cafe up there so Auckland Art Gallery Toy Old Tamaki Art of Tamaki so let's go over and I'm going to show you a couple of things about be careful because it's one way and the traffic's coming on your right hand side <laughs> this is where we've just walked from across here so in New Zealand, always make sure that you're looking to the right first. They have a nice gallery shop in here. So it closes at five, so we've, we've missed the opening, but that's good because we've got this courtyard to ourselves. So at the moment, there's a wonderful phot photography exhibition on. Civilization. <laughs> I wonder how we can improve it. So these beautiful columns here, in New Zealand, these are called pole. So uh, these represent the trunk of the kauri tree. And then the, the ceiling here represents the canopy of the forest. This goes right through to the park on the other side. It's really, really lovely. So this is using recycled wood. If you're up in the cafe, or maybe we can see right at the top, there's some carvings. Let me zoom. There's some carvings. These actually represent dog's teeth. Interesting. Yeah, so the wood is all, it's all demolition timber, so it's been recycled from old buildings. And this was created over a number of years. I think it took two years to finish. But it's a lovely addition to the art gallery. So from the art gallery, we're just looking back across to the suffragette steps. Some of the high rise buildings that are around us. And looking up Kitchener Street. I'd like, like to say thank you very much for watching 
and I hope to see you again on one of my live streaming broadcasts. Um, this, is, this is not live, I'm pre-recording this, but it's the easiest way to do it because I wanted to show you um, everything that's here. So thank you very much for watch, watching. We'll just go to the other side and I'll turn around so that you're getting a lovely view of the Auckland Art Gallery. There it is. A place beyond belief.